Why is the Rosetta Stone so important and how did it help understand Egyptian writing? The Rosetta Stone, Egyptian hieroglyphics. So the Egyptian script was not understood for a very long time, right? I mean, the Egyptians understood it, but then Egyptian culture and civilization was wiped out, right? Nothing persists to the day, to, until today, nothing at all from the old Egyptian civilization and culture, nothing exists today, culturally. Right? So Egypt's culture disappeared, it was destroyed, and for the longest time, for a period of more than about 15, 1700 years, almost 2000 years, let's say, people did not know how to read the Egyptian inscriptions, the hieroglyphics. And once the West became dominant and they, kept, they subjugated Egypt and other countries, they were, their historians were fascinated with this Egyptian writing. So they wanted to understand what's written, but they had no way of deciphering the script. And then this stone was discovered. Let's let's look, take a look at what this stone looks like. It's an inscription in three different scripts. Okay, Rosetta Stone. What's it look like? We'll look at an image. So this is the Rosetta Stone. Okay, you can see there are three sections: top, middle, and bottom. And the three sections are written. It's the same message essentially, the same message that is written in three different scripts. So. Which scripts is, uh, is, is this message written in? One was the Egyptian hieroglyphic script. The second was the Egyptian demotic script. And the third was Greek. Because this uh, inscription was made, the Rosetta Stone was made around three, 300 BC or some, around that time. Around that time when Egypt was ruled by the Greeks. Because of the uh, effects of the, of the conquest of Egypt by Alexander. So Egypt was ru ruled by the Ptolemaic dynasty. And this Rosetta Stone inscription is in is the same message in three different scripts: the hieroglyphic script, the demotic script, and Greek. Now Greek was understood to the Western historians. So then this started the process. Okay, now we have three scripts and we have the same message essentially. So let's try and now figure out. So slowly, various historians, various linguists worked on it, and over a period of time, this started cracking the script. So one of the ways of doing it is you find the names of kings in a script you understand. Right, and if it's repeated two, three times, you look at look for certain similar patterns in the scripts you don't understand, and then you try and then you know what the name of the king sounds when you write in Greek. Now you find the same repeated patterns in the other scripts, then it means it has the same sound. So then you can understand what those two, three characters, what what the sounds of those two, three characters mean. So you can assign sounds to the characters, and that's how you start working backwards and forwards and whichever way, and eventually you can you can uh, decipher. The script. So that's how it was done and uh, that's how it uh, helped historians finally decipher the hieroglyphic script.